Here again with another Big Bang Theory Season 9 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you are caught up to the point where I am every watch you're watching the Big Bang Theory or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention as well as put in the description if that happens to be the case. If you find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be The Big Bang Theory, Season 9, Episode 5. The title of this episode is called The Perspiration Implementation. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So we start off with the fact that Bernadette has gotten Howard a Fitbit. So Howard puts this Fitbit on like a arm. It's like an arm that he's engineered, but it's not electronic. And uh, he doesn't have to inter he doesn't have interest in doing exercise, of course. Penny doesn't think Leonard and Sheldon should play sports due to uh, exercise. Kripke starts uh, or has started an indoor fencing club. Stuart has a breastfeeding area at the comic book store. Kripke welcomes the uh, the you know Raj, Howard, Sheldon, and Leonard to the fencing club. Sheldon tells Kripke they are not afraid of physical activity. Unguard time. Howard's going to fill it tomorrow. Amy asks Stuart if he's ever thought about directly advertising to females. And uh, Penny reads Stuart some of the reviews that are online about the comic book store. And lots of people talk about the creepy guy or weird owner. So obviously Stuart is very socially awkward. He's almost a better fit to be a lead in this show because of how awkward uh, I believe the actor Kevin Sussman appears to be. I don't know if that's how he is in real life, but he they they almost should have had a spinoff with him, the guy that likes rocks, Bert, and a couple other guys. I like rocks. Well, I own a comic book store, and yeah. So yeah, um, Kripke finds out that Amy Farrah Fowler has broken up with Sheldon. Good to know. Uh, Sheldon challenges Kripke to a duel. Three years from now. So if Kripke's as good of a trainer as he thinks he is, three years from now, Sheldon should be able to beat him at fencing. Stewart realizes that he's the problem uh, at the comic book store. Amy says uh, she was desperate before she met Sheldon. She had some insecurities. So the guys go to the bar. Uh, Howard suggests Sheldon date somebody else. Sheldon is going to make some random woman his girlfriend. And then Sheldon, of course, gets rejected. It doesn't work that way. Amy says Barry Kripke just asked her out. Uh, Sheldon and Amy talk outside the apartment or apartments because it's in between, you know, Sheldon and Leonard's and Penny's place. And Amy tells Sheldon she said no to Barry Kripke. Sheldon says he was rejected a few times tonight as well. And Amy says he looks good. Bernadette asks Howard, Why does your Fitbit say you ran 174 miles yesterday? Of course, Howard knows that's complete BS due to the fact that engineered arm that he has that just keeps spinning around. And that's what ends the episode. So it wasn't the best episode. There were some funny moments, but all in all, I felt like it was just kind of thrown in there. And they're like running out of material, it seems, at least with this one. I'm going to score the episode a 6.8 out of 10. My character of the episode is going to be Sheldon, although one could argue maybe Barry Kripke or possibly uh, somebody else like Amy um, or Stuart. And as many of you know, I rate Penny because that is the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory and that I continued watching The Big Bang Theory. Obviously, Sheldon and Leonard were very big parts of me continuing to watch the show too, but Penny is the, the main reason. So I rate Penny uh, just on how Penny looks. So in this episode, I'm going to give her a 7.4 out of 10. Uh, if you want to do that too, just do that in the comment section. But you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of The Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, please consider Hulk smashing the like button. Sheldon me would be very upset if you didn't Hulk smash the like button. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your preferred social media platforms. Again, don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of The Big Bang Theory. What would you rate it? Who would be your character of the episode? And if you want to do like I do again, rate Penny, you can go ahead and do that in the comment section. And then last but certainly not least, 
Don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the TV, join the TV, join the team, show your damn support and be a part of something special. And you never know what you'll see on JDev TV.